Howdy folks, welcome back. I've got, I think, a fun little project for us. This is a 2006, I think, Mercury Mountaineer. The story I heard is that someone tried to steal it. Why someone would steal a 2006 Mercury Mountaineer, I don't know. But they must have seen too many action movies and they, they busted open the steering column and chopped a bunch of wires and made a big mess out of it. So the body shop here in town, they put a used steering column in it and they fixed up the wiring the best they could and now it won't start. Or it'll start if you clear the codes, but it won't restart. So it sounds like a security problem of some kind. I don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, yeah, we're not off to a good start there. Anyway, what I hope we can do is What a mess. Uh, hopefully we can clear the codes out and get it started to get it inside. Uh, I believe the lock cylinder and everything is also off of the used column, so it has the wrong key. Let's see, how's that work? The key won't match the doors, but we should be able to make it start the vehicle, I think. Anyway, that's the mess we're in today. But of course, the battery is completely dead. I got nothing. Maybe the battery cable's unhooked. Let's go check that. Yeah, hood struts are junk. All right, battery cable is unhooked. I have to put a wrench on that. All right, let's try this again. There we go. No crank. Well, that's interesting. I thought it would at least crank with the security light on. I don't even see a security light. Not that familiar with these Ford systems. Yeah, code scan tells us what we what we already knew. So the P1000 just means the battery is disconnected and it doesn't have all of the monitors haven't run, but everything else is is security, path system, key codes, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Let's try to clear this out, see if we can get it to start. I looked up the, the wiring diagram. It is a computer-controlled starter. The ECM controls the starter relay. So we'll give it a shot. If it worked for them, it ought to work for us. Yeah, it won't clear the ones in the ECM, PCM. Let's see what she does here. Yeah, so we still we still have this pets problem. So we're gonna have to get into the security side of it, which I'll be honest, I'm not that strong on the Ford Pats system, at least not from this vintage. All right, so it's got two keys in the memory already. I think we can add a key. Insert new key, turn ignition on. Why is it doing this? All right, we'll be back in 10 minutes. All right. Program success. Upside down exclamation point. What is that, a pound? Anyway. Let's see if it'll start. I think our battery is completely dead. This thing's going crazy. Well, now I don't know if the uh, key programming was successful or not, because our battery died. Well, that's more than we had before. All right, we'll let her charge up for a minute, hopefully. Hopefully that's all it needs, but <laughs> I'm not very confident. Let's see if she cooked long enough to start. Got the requisite exhaust manifold leaks. Cool.
I'm not sure. We got the key to work, but the uh, the locks, power door locks don't work on either one of these little gizmos. So let's see if we can figure that out. Well, according to the internet, I'm supposed to turn the key on and then do something with the locks on the switch here. And then I'm supposed to turn the key off and on eight times or ten times in eight seconds or eight times in ten seconds. Okay, so I just beep blinked at us or whatever. So that one doesn't seem to work. Alright, so now, does it still start? It does. And does this thing work? It does. All right. I think we're done, folks. I really do. Not much to it. It's got a code here for an EVAP vent control circuit. I'm sure they won't want to fix that. Exhaust manifold leaks. Battery seems like it's totally spanked. We got all that stuff over there. They can deal with that. Uh, the problem we're going to have is that this key opens the door. Like if you don't have the keyless entry, you have to use this key to open the actual lock cylinder in the door. And it will not match this key. So unless they want to re-key the doors, there's really no way around them having to have two keys. But I don't think it... Yeah. So that's the best we can do with it. So if you haven't seen this tool before, it's an X-Tool X100 Pad 3. I'll put a link in the description. I'm pretty, it works pretty well, especially on Fords. I haven't actually tried it on anything else but, but a Ford or a Mercury in this case. But so far I'm pretty impressed with this tool. Even the diagnostic part of it is it's way faster than my Autel. I haven't found anything it can't do. It is, you know, it does have the cord, it's not wireless, you know, Bluetooth like the Autel, but it works. All right. I'll call these people that can come get this fine machine. And uh, yeah, should be good to go. That's it. Quick throwaway video. Thanks for watching, guys.